<laughs> what did you think, Sabrina? Snake. Yeah. I was running away. I'm like, okay, take Babu. I know. Come out of here. We launch our boat from there. So that's Jacob's Will boat ramp. Very excited to start our journey for five days. We're going pretty good north of Kuriji Island for five nights and the weather forecast is not really ideal. Uh, but it looks good. Let's go. As Babu said, the weather is not ideal. You can see the top. But we are taking it slow, so we should be fine. Did you have a shower? <laughs> yeah, side wave came in and splashed me on my glasses. I'm getting all this splash. Catch any fish? Oh, yeah. oh, really? Okay. And here we are. We landed on our North Kuruji uh, campground. Have a look at this. Look at Sabina's face. Happy. Happy, happy. So, we're going to go look at our campsite or try to see if we can find something nicer. We've got number 10 allocated for us, but it looks a little bit too open. Almost like a thoroughfare. So, we're going to have a look at 20. 21 and 22 So which number is 20? Peter said you can take either of these See, I like this one This one? Yeah, me too and This is even better Oh, this is much better So and you get the whole firewood. shed <laughs> See? Firewood. That's 21, he said you can take 21 He said that? Yeah that's our boat, that's Babu, that's our campsite, so happy with this location. So we have all our stuff in the boat, so Babu bring the boat here, so from our campsite we can see our boat and it will be easy for us to carry everything over there, so that's what's happening right now how cool is this place and I saw some stingray flathead so this is perfect spot for me in the afternoon just sit here and do fishing and relax 
and don't worry about anything else gorgeous this is the fun bit <laughs> unpacking all the stuff look at labor babu <laughs> These are the stuff that we brought with us. This will be our accommodation for five days. Home sweet home. In the bush. It's quite nice for relaxation. Can't wait to set everything up. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. All right, that's our boat, and we've got everything over on shore now. Started raining a little bit. Yeah. So we are thinking that we should set up the gazebo first. Yes. So we're trying to uh, set the gazebo as soon as we can, so that way we've got not much to worry about, even if the rain comes in. So. All right, I was gonna set up the gazebo there the tent comes in here and then from our bedroom we should have that view and from the gazebo we'll have that view as well but look at Sabrina <laughs> she's so creative she just thought about using an old branch just to get rid of the sharp objects in here because it's gonna be the tent in here That's just trying to see way. if we can move something <laughs> what is this Sabrina this is Bangladeshi way Dharu. <laughs> Bangladeshi women, our mothers and aunts and aunties. But they have popper tools. Hey. Now I don't have the popper tools, but DIY. You make the most out of what you have, yeah. right? It's high tide now. Can you recognize this place? It looks so different. People started swimming. And we got a fish. Can you imagine? What? Oh my god. What a timing. This is so funny. <laughs> Look at Babu struggling. Oh my goodness. And we got a fish. Like, what? Is it big, Babu? We'll find it out. Oh my god, how exciting is this? It's not? What is it then? It is a fish, Babu. It is fish. Could be a flathead. Because that kid told me that he got a flathead, so. Could be a flathead. No? no? All right. Looks like a fish. <gasps> Whoa! Is that a Eel. snake? Eel. What? Eel. Oh no! <gasps> oh no! What is this? the hook yeah he took the hook but I'm just what was that obviously an eel but how big how was it big? How, how was it big? How, how was it big? that was scary I was scared that hell. I caught it because I wasn't sure what, what, to, what to do with it I, I'm like cut the cut the thing I don't want it yeah I'm not going anywhere near because you know how dangerous they are a spike eel so yeah. it's horrible if it how big <laughs> i'm out of word how was it? did you see how it was tangling it? Yeah. like it was horrible and scary
that's our boat that's our home for five days that's the jetty we initially had size size 10 but then we opted in to go further back a little bit of a shed and all that you'd have seen the size of the eel my heart is still pumping just from the scare of it i got just scared I thought this is a snake or something. What did you think, Sabrina? Snake? Yeah. I was running away. I'm like, okay, take Babu. I know. Come out of here. <laughs> take Babu. I know. Come out of here. It was scary. Have a look this way. How beautiful is it? Mm -hmm. It's so blue. Wow, that's ice cream. After the excitement from the gigantic eel, we came for a walk around. How beautiful is this place? You can hear the ocean in the distance. That's the boys' washroom. And that will be the ladies in that way. Can you hear the ocean? It's so close. You, you can hear it? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I want to do surf fishing. Yes, we will. Well, let's freshen up and then we'll try to take the boat out. Yeah. See if we can catch a feed. And then we'll take it from there. Yay! Run! I'm going to the front. <laughs> he was holding. <laughs> oh, pin number. Oh. Oh, apparently you have pin to get inside. So, um, the shower is really nice. It's clean um, and also is gated. So, it requires the pin number. I was struggling, but it's really good. I like it. Did you see the boat is floating or floating? <laughs> Don't know who the boat is floating with, but that's our boat. That's the water. And Sabrina is going to show us where he camped. Can you yep. Come on. So, obviously, this is our fireplace. This is our stand. Okay. We keep it really simple. I will show you inside. Okay. Take my shoes off. Yes, please. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so shoes off. Inside, these are our cloth. This is our bed. Some makeup. <laughs> so inside, it looks like this. It's very airy, and we love this tent. It's big. And this is our shower. Babu, if you can, can you please show us from there? Yeah, okay. We made it um, comfortable so at night you don't have to get out in the elements. Just open that up. And there. Portable shower. You can have shower here with the toilets. Number yeah. one, number two. <laughs> Good oh to go. Goodness. But then it's adjusting to the tent. So it's not much moving around at night and then you just lock it up and there is no electricity so it's gonna be dark yeah. it's really convenient to have it how yeah. breezy is this place i'm loving the breeze it is. So if we open the hang on a second i'll open the window and you will see the view from our bedroom hello babu <laughs> And that's the view from the bedroom. So this is our kitchen and also hangout place. So we have some food here and stuff for cooking, esky, firewood and the view. Plan is to head out on the boat. Uh, did you take the bait? No! <laughs> oh, Sabrina. Oh, no. Such a beautiful day today. It's gorgeous. How gorgeous is the water today? First time ever, I think I'm feeling a little bit seasick. Oh, no. Uh, maybe it's just because I've been running around since yesterday to get everything ready. Got in there, put the anchor down, and the uh, what, everything felt coming inside out. So uh, I'm just gonna head home, sit back and just have to drink. I think I'm a bit dehydrated as well. The sun's been beaming. And just uh, 
take some rest, take it easy for the day one. Yeah, good idea. Let's go. That's home. Mood. So we took a quick nap because we were so tired today and then wake up, took a shower and walking in this beautiful place. Cheers, my love. Cheers. We came for a walk around and look how nice it is. Sabrina, mm -hmm. it's like you're in the middle of nowhere, hey. Mm -hmm. Look at the bush and all that. And then you get to come on the open. So this is the... Wow. Yep. Look at that. How nice is this? Yeah, be careful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Look at those kids. Look at that. I think they're doing catching fish or yabby, yabby. or something. There's some yabby holes everywhere pretty much. Yeah. Unreal. I mean, if you wanted to, I suppose you could walk all the way there and go, and that would be a good fishing spot. That's what the ranger told us. Mm. He said that at high tide, you can take your boat all the way in there, and then you can do some fishing there. But see how shallow the area is. It's at low tide, you can see it, but high tide, you'll be tempted to drive like this, then it'll be stuck on a sandbar. This is such a gorgeous sunset. We have our new friends. <laughs> such a beautiful sunset. Isn't it like, it's a beautiful sunset, right? <laughs> 